Hello, this is Deke Reinhardt at Darlings Ford in Bangor, Maine. Giving you a tour today of the new 2011 Super Duty truck. The particular one we're looking at is the F350 crew cab and the new 6.7 diesel engine. This engine packs 400 horsepower and 800 foot-pounds of torque. This engine's been tested over 10 million miles and is a real testament to the dedication of Ford to bringing us a new clean diesel engine. Also, they've increased the fuel economy by 18%. So you're actually going to get better fuel economy with this diesel truck. Also, it has a best-in-class towing at 16,000 pounds. In the new 2011 Super Duty truck, all new redesigned interior, some great features. One of the benefits of the new diesel is how quiet it runs as we start it up here. Not typical to the uh, old sound of the previous diesel engines Ford's had. Now another great feature in this truck is the availability of the LCD productivity screen, which gives an owner a lot of information. Now you can switch the gauge mode that you look at. You've got your trip A and B. You can keep an eye on your fuel economy. There's truck apps, of course all your settings, and information about your truck. That's all controlled from right here on the steering wheel. A nice little joystick built right into the steering wheel. Uh, the arrows control the different menus. So as you can see, we'll go into the gauge mode. Gauge detail, it's going to give you your oil temperature and your transmission temperature. Great if you're towing. If I go over, it also has a compass for the truck. And then lastly, uh, it gives you your direction as in north, as we're facing now. If we go down, we've got a trip A and B. Uh, this will let you set timers, how many gallons you've used. Uh, it's a lot of information right there, average miles per gallon. Go down to fuel economy. This is going to give you your instant MPG, how many miles you have to empty, and your average miles per gallon. Now down in the truck apps, you can see uh, there's the off-road mode, which uh, will show you the pitch, the yaw, all type of information about the vehicle as you're off-roading. So here in the uh, trailer screen, this is where you can set memory for uh, electric brake controls for different trailers. So if you have several different trailers you use, uh, this is a nice feature because you can set the memory on the controls for that electric brake for each trailer. You don't have to reset it every time. Now as I back out here, we can go into the settings of the truck. And this is going to have uh, different settings such as your rear parking uh, aid, uh, trailer sway control, which is a class exclusive here with the uh, new Ford Super Duty. Also, there's uh, vehicle settings, different preferences for your auto lamps, your compass, um, things like that. Uh, My key, another feature that's exclusive to Ford. Uh, this is where you can set settings such as top speed the truck can uh, travel, uh, radio volume, many other features. And of course, there's a language setting and your syst system reset as we go in there. Then if you click on the information tab, that's going to give you uh, the information on your My Key settings and you can also do a systems check. So uh, a great productivity screen for uh, anyone who uses this for a work truck. Now also an option on this truck is the Sony navigation system, which is one of the most intuitive systems on the market today. Uh, this system pairs with the Microsoft uh, Sync system that Ford's been running the last few years in the vehicles, which pairs with your Bluetooth cell phone uh, for hands-free calling and dialing. Uh, so you can do everything by voice, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use the controls on the navigation unit. As you can see here, I'll hit the navigation screen. Uh, what that's going to do is I can set up my preferences, what kind of map content I want, what type of view, uh, format, things uh, such as that. Now on the map, as you can see, very nice detailed map. Uh, this is linked with Sirius Travel Link, which will give you traffic updates. Um, points of interest. If you're somewhere and you want to find the nearest Italian restaurant, you can. Uh, you can also check things such as um, gas prices near you, um, all kinds of things. Also on the Sony navigation system, uh, you can check out your um, current location. As I mentioned earlier, here's the Sirius Travel Link. Uh, there's lots of features that go with that. You can set up your own favorite places. Uh, you can check out the traffic nearby. You can get your current weather forecast. Uh, one of the fun ones I like is the movie listings. Uh, if you're 
looking to go to a, a nice movie while you're in town. As you'll see, it brings up the local movie theaters nearest you, and then you can check out your show times. Now in the Sirius Travel Link, you can see all the features that you can use. Uh, another great feature is the media center that this uh, Sony navigation system uses. A lot of different features. Uh, you can uh, play CD or DVD audio. Uh, if your vehicle is in park, you can play a DVD on the screen. Also, uh, it has a built-in jukebox. Uh, you can burn your CDs right into the system. Uh, once you rip those in, you'll have access to those uh, CDs without having the CD actually in the system. Uh, it'll hold roughly about 2,500 songs uh, if you rip those CDs in. Also, uh, of course, with the sync system, you've got access to uh, hook in an iPod or even a USB stick with uh, just MP3s on it. So lots of different choices to uh, have the music you want with you in the vehicle while you're traveling.